Which was the better movie? Avengers Infinity War or Avengers Endgame? What do you guys think? So for me personally, I'm just going to say Avengers Endgame just because of um, a lot of the meaning behind it and just like it stuck the, the landing. Like it's, it's the conclusion. Um, in many ways, I actually view these as sort of, you know, one really long movie mm. just because you can't have one without the other. That's true. Yeah. Um, for me, this was actually very debatable because... On one hand, with Endgame, I love the way Endgame is. Like, if, if you told me on paper that this is going to be a movie where, for starters, it's going to be more dark, like, there's not much humor, focuses on the consequences, they're going to go through a time heist, which is cool to see them go back in time, and they're going to have that final battle where everybody comes in and, fits, and fights Thanos, and it just looks very, like, artistic. Like, there's literally, like, a picture where I want to make that, like, my wallpaper on oh, yeah. iPhone. Like, it's, <laughs> just, it's just beautifully done. So... The, those A lot of these ideas, I love the ideas of Endgame, but the more I've think about Endgame and the more I think about in, uh, Infinity Wars, because I've seen Infinity Wars like three times, I've only seen Endgame once, so I'm going to probably rewatch it to get more of a memory. Yeah, yeah, me too. I, I just feel that, I feel like Infinity Wars just had a better execution in my eyes. I felt that it was presented in a way where there are like things that I did not expect and this movie did have some things that I expected, but there are some things where I don't want to say they're problems, but there's things that like the time travel plot still kind of it kind of bugs me where yeah, it doesn't you, well, ruin the story. Let's let's do a video about that after. Actually. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, we're gonna talk about this. <laughs> it doesn't ruin the story, but it just makes me think like, okay, why didn't they just do this? Like, there's just certain questions I've had, and that's what kind of it kind of that's the thing that kind of ruins me for it. And it's like again with that final battle. Like, I just wish they had more time for that final battle. Because I feel like with all those Avengers there, it's just, there's so much you could have done with that. So, I think that's why Infinity War, for me, the more I think about the execution of Infinity War, to me, was done better. But, again, the ideas, the type of the type of story Endgame is going for. I like that type of story more than Infinity Wars. But, again, I just feel like the execution of Infinity Wars, to me, was yeah, a lot more. I'll say that um, Infinity Wars pacing um was better for me like personally i just liked how fast paced it was like every scene was a a very very energetic scene and something important was happening um for endgame they they definitely took their time a, a lot more time and gave more breathing room which is which is you know good too but um and it suited that movie more for sure um the tone of that movie um but as ter in terms of taste, I do enjoy that really fast pace. Yeah, I, I, I will agree with you on the pace because I, so I've seen, um, I've seen Endgame twice now and I saw Infinity War again between those two times. And watching Infinity War again, it was surprisingly easy to just watch through the whole thing. Like it felt like, like I was, I just remember, like, immediately I was grabbed by it, and um, I just, like, I kept, I just, because I kind of threw it on, um, just like, yeah, I, I should probably watch this to just, like, remember it and see how it was. And I just, like, literally just sat there for, like, two and a half hours watching it. <laughs> and, and so it's really, it's an easy watch, if that makes sense. Um, for Endgame, I was just really excited to see it, so um, I, 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 but I do see your points with the pacing where there are some parts of Endgame where it's kind of like um, you feel the time passing, but then like it, it kind of ramps up and you're, you're like, okay, that. Yeah, you're the in, third act for sure. This. Yeah, yeah third act is some craziness. Um, yeah. So, but for me, I think that um, between those two, I would have to give it to Endgame just because not only does it like, I think it just comes down to the fact that it's, it sticks the landing so well. Yeah, yeah. And it it just, like, it is the culmination of everything that we've experienced over the last 10 years. And it was just so satisfying to watch. Exactly. That I satisfying think, feeling. That yeah. It's, it's, the sat it's the satisfaction of watching it. I remember the first time I watched it, the theater was so hyped and everybody was just enjoying it. And that experience is, like, I, I, 
I've never had that kind of experience in a movie <laughs> before. <laughs> and so, like, just the people cheering at random scenes. People in the theater were crying at certain parts. And so, I'm... Based on, like, how it, like... The emotion. It grabbed me, the emotions and the excitement and the satisfaction. I ha- I think I have to give it to Endgame. Yeah, so, I guess for me, coming down to this, I mean, there there's things that in Endgame... See, again, Endgame is sort of polarizing, and not in, like, in the sense where it's really bad, but there's, like, there's a lot of things that I love that they did, like Tony finally dying, because it made me really, like... For a while, I never liked Iron Man, but... After this, you know, I love you 3000. Spoiler, but whatever. <laughs> oh, wait, this is a spoiler discussion. We, okay. We can talk as much spoilers as we want. So, I like that about that. But at the same time, I kind of didn't like what they did to Thanos. Because I felt like Thanos just became a villain. Like an actual just like, oh, I'm just going to destroy your Earth. Which Yeah, yeah, but that was not our Thanos. Or not the Thanos that we, we knew about in Infinity War. That, yeah. that was younger Thanos. So, it's like... He didn't really go through that process of change. He didn't have to sacrifice Gamora. He didn't have to go through all that stuff. Yeah, I, I see that. But then I, I guess I'll talk about more in the time travel thing about why I kind of have my issues with Thanos with that. Um, so there's there's stuff like that where it kind of, uh, at least with Affinity Wars, I felt that... Um, again, that cause, because of the time travel and different characters, I felt the consistency was uh really done well and i like the consistency and i love the presentation um if i have to ex- if i had to describe my opinion with th- with a show it would be like end game would be sort of to me like the in dragon ball super would be like the zamasu arc where the sense where there's a lot of like not to say i mean what well, the point is what i mean by that it's like there's a lot of like good ideas and then when you think about the way well Minus the ending, although t- they both have to do with time travel, there's a lot of good tensional, emotional stakes elements. While Affinity War would be more of like the tournament of power, where it's like it's this whole giant battle. But uh, at least you can say that our main protagonist is more. We can understand our main protagonist, so that's the way I kind of look at it. But overall, I guess for me, as much as I love the emotional stakes and I love the satisfaction, satisf- oh my god, I can't even say the word. Satisfaction? Satisfaction <laughs> <laughs> of, a fi- uh, of Endgame. I just, when it comes to film narratively, presentation-wise, I always feel like Affinity War did it for me. And that's why I might give it to Affinity War. Okay. Cool. Yeah, 2v1. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs>